Hi guys, I'm Thomas from TVR Guitars. I'm a student instrument builder at the CMB. It's uh, the Center for Musical Instrument Building in uh, Belgium. Uh, it's a big school with students from all over Europe. And uh, I will show you how I built an acoustic uh, guitar, a steel string. Um, first, I'm going to start with the tools you need uh, to make such an instrument. So the first thing we need is the, the workbench, of course. Um, it's necessary that the workbench uh, is, is a heavy one or it is uh, fixed to something else, a wall, another workbench. Uh, because when you are planing the wood, you, you put a lot of pressure uh, and force on the workbench. So it's necessary it don't move um, when you're working on the wood. Just going to uh, check my workbench at the moment. Uh, then I'm going to take uh, the other stuff that's not on my workbench now. Another thing I use uh, frequently is uh, a vise. It's um, necessary to clamp wood. Both sides are adjustable. So a neck, which is not, uh, it doesn't have straight edges, but you can clamp it with a vise. Here you have some uh, some sizzles. I have more sizzles, uh, but uh, they're in my box. Pencils to make marks on the wood. Masking tape. Some uh, scraper blades. I use it very often um, to to make the last. Uh, Last adjustments on the wood make it uh, make it straight. This is a, a rod to sharpen the, the scraper blades. You see, I have them in different sizes, different thicknesses. Uh, this is a, a heavy one. You can see this is uh, easily bendable. Some clamps. Here are some other clamps. Uh, the wooden clamps I use um, when I don't need to put uh, much pressure on the wood. Um, clamping a guitar on the workbench. Uh, the other ones are uh, with these uh, clamps you can put uh, more pressure on the wood so you can, can clamp it uh, and fix it better than with the wooden ones. Here's a little box. Some glue, wood uh, knives, a little uh, finger plane I made myself, a little square uh, steel thing to see if, uh, if wood has a straight edge. So this is my uh, box with my work equipment. Over here you see some other uh, chisels, straight chis uh, chisels, but also some curved ones, you see this is straight. A little one, I guess uh, three millimeters, a bigger one. Twenty-six millimeters I read here. This is a big curved one, some little ones. This is my smallest. It was one from uh, two millimeters. I made it, uh, I guess, a, a, a little one millimeter. I used this uh, to make the rosette on my guitar. Here, a hobby knife. Sometimes it's uh, it's easier to uh, to cut a marking on wood um, because it stays on the wood. Uh, when you use a pencil, sometimes uh, you lose your mark when you're uh, when you're working on the wood. This size, you see some uh, rasps. This one is to clean the rasps rasps and, and files 
for the rasps it's uh, best this one is, is uh, made uh, in a factory and this one is, is made by hand you see the little dots it's the dots that scrape the wood when they're handmade they're not on, on one uh, exact line so you get a, a better surface after uh, scraping this one made in the factory you see they're all on, on one line um, when you use this one sometimes you get uh, really uh, deep scratches on the wood um, sometimes you don't want them Another files, a round file, another uh, handmade, this is the handle uh, of one of my files. A little box, some other finger planes, smaller, bigger, I have a, a very little one somewhere, All right, so over here. You can use these ones um, to make the bracings, put them on the, the right thickness, etc. Over here are some, some uh, oh, screwdriver to make the holes uh, for the tuners, some screws. This is a, a thing I, I bought. Um, to make e exact holes at that point it has a screw uh, and this one you can see it fits exactly and you make a hole and there's a plug cutter of the same thickness somewhere uh, over here you can make another uh, piece of wood that fits exactly in the hole so you can fill a hole and make a new one these are some other plug cutters right. no, this is a plug cutter this is a screw digger here's a, a plug cutter um, I use them to make pieces of wood um, round pieces of wood and I use them to um, make the finger markers, position markers on one of my guitars. That's the first stage and this is the second stage. Wheel marking gauge, it's, it's uh, also to make markings on the wood um, for the thickness of the wood. Exact uh, when, when you measure the thickness of uh, what's going to be the neck you can make a scraping with this and you can measure the exact thickness uh, where the, the marking will come to cut the pieces of the frets it's uh, important it has a, a straight top so you can cut um, the frets at, uh, as, as, uh, exactly at the neck you don't have to leave uh, much iron at the frets. A fret hammer, it's a heavy one, but uh, it has a smooth uh, side. Plastic. A square. A Japanese uh, saw. I use this one to uh, make the fret slots. block plane two other planes a number four but at this moment I prefer a number five but I don't have one it's a pity and the numbers uh, a number seven I use this one to uh, make joints uh, the the top uh, of the guitar the back of the guitar as you if you buy a plane it's uh, important that the sole of the plane 
is uh, as straight as possible. Uh, you're not going to make a guitar um, with a plane. Uh, it's cost you uh, 30 euros. Uh, better to buy a, a decent one. The planes I use are, are uh, from the brand uh, Dictum uh, in Germany. This is a tool to uh, make, so you can calculate or, or uh, make angles, markings of angles. So you can now you can make any angle you want in a the right degree and then you can mark it on the on the wood there are still a few things uh, that weren't on my workbench but are quite important and this is a caliper uh, to measure the thickness of uh, the boards the top uh, the back and the sides Ruler. I have different rulers. Uh, you see, they're flexible, so you can measure even when the wood uh, takes a curve. This is the the form of the guitar. So it's it's uh, the outside. When you bend your wood, the sides, you can measure it at this uh, to see if the curves are correct. Uh, and once they're bent you can clamp them inside uh, so they stay, they stay fixed. Afterwards, um, when you have glued the top and the back, you can remove it uh, and work on the body of the guitar. Another caliper to measure the thickness of, uh, of wood. This is, uh, I do not use this one. Um, for the sides, the top or the back, but uh, it's more for the uh, the braces, uh, the bigger pieces of wood braces, uh, the neck. Uh, some steel wool, this is a uh, double O. I prefer the triple O or the quadruple O. It leaves uh, no, um, no scars, no scratches on the wood. Then we have, uh, of course, glue. This is uh, some tight bond. And last but not least, scraping paper in different uh, grids. I guess I have uh, 120, it should be 400, and some uh, in between. When you're working, of course, you start in this case 120, and then you work up. Uh, 240 is also 120 maybe it's more easy if you put them together with the same numbers normally I, I use 120 240 360 and then uh, for 320 I have uh, at the moment and I'm 400 um, as the last and then we finish with uh, the steel wool then there's one very important thing I don't have here at the moment, and that's uh, a bending iron. Um, I need to buy one so I can make uh, my guitars at home. And of course, now we have the the, the tools, etc. I need, but there's one very important thing. Of course, is a plan. Uh, you see, this is a drawing, the side of the guitar, the fretboard with the frets, the top view of the guitar, and this is the guitar I'm making uh, in these videos. Maybe I'm going to make um, a few changes on the guitar, um, maybe I'll make a V-brace. I don't know it yet, maybe kind of cutaway, um, but we'll see that uh, when we're getting there. 
Um, also, when we make changes and the plan needs to be changed, uh, we'll explain it uh, then. What's important is that uh, the plan is a one-on-one -on -one, uh, print, so you can check the differences. So this is the exact body of the guitar, the exact measure of the frets, or it should be, I haven't checked it. Um, this is a United Fingers guitar made by uh, Mich van Severen. It's one of the teachers. It's a guitar they made uh, in 2003 for the 25th birthday of um, the CMB. Uh, so I'll try to make uh, this guitar on my own. I hope you enjoy watching my videos um, and I hope someone will make a, a guitar because of uh, when they see my, my uh, films. Next video concerning the woods. Bye!